Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Manual Graphics tutorial. I know it's been a long time since I've made a tutorial, almost three weeks, but I'm back, kind of. Um, I went away for a while to Africa, and I'm. this is the first tutorial since then, so let's get started. So, recently Pokemon Go came out, around two weeks ago, I think, I don't actually know, but I decided to make a Pokeball in Blender. Now it's not 100% perfect, as you can see there's these uh, lines that go down the middle here, they don't look fantastic, but the final render doesn't look that bad, I'm really impressed with it, um, I think I got the materials okay, overall really nicely done, I'll show you the render quickly, so this is how it came out, this is the final product. So not much difference. Anyway, so let's get started with this. Say this. Let's go file new, reload startup file, and delete the cube and this. We're gonna shift A, add a UV sphere, set the settings to smooth. Enter edit mode, rotate on the y axis, x axis, sorry, 90 degrees. And okay, this is the issue. Bef before, the first time I made it, I cut the ball in half this way with the round bit facing the top here. And I had to make a circle, but after I finished realizing that, you could actually just make a circle from this. So that's why the other. has a line there and this one hopefully won't so we're going to rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees go into front view orthographic mode hit Z on the keyboard A hit B select half delete and that's we've got half and go out of wireframe mode, hit C on your keyboard, select these vertices, hit X, escape then X, and delete these vertices. Sorry, it's, it's not select vertices, it's select face. So now we've got half of the Pokeball. What we're going to do before we do this, we're going to add a modifier. We're going to add subdivision surface, add to, apply. It gives us just a smoother cut. This is the top layer of the Pokeball. And we're also going to add a solidify modifier just to thicken it. Leaving it on the default settings should be okay. And hit apply. So now we've got our top section of our Pokeball. We're then going to add another sphere. Smooth shading again and scale it down a bit. And this sphere is going to be our center ball. So it's currently a bit too fat. We're going to, with our top section here, we're just going to shift D, R, X, 90, sorry, R, Y, 180, like so. We're then going to pull this down a bit and pull this up. We're then going to flatten this on the Z axis along with this. We want it to keep remain its round shape. So 
like so. But we want it to be um to be slightly bigger. There we go, that's the basic structure done. Now with the center bit, we're going to shift A and we're going to add a cylinder. Give it a smooth shading, rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees. Go into edit mode, hit control R to add a loop cut and slide one up here. Control R, slide one up there. And squash it on the Y axis to run this. Scale it down and slide it in here. Shift D to duplicate, and that's the center. Now, grab it, scale it up. So, scale it on the Z axis so it's round. The next thing we're going to do is create the materials. So, for the center material, I'm just going to add a. I'm going to go to the materials, make sure I'm in cycles, compositing. And go to materials. This is the black. Use nodes. And now we're going to add a glossy. Change the color to black. And we want it more diffuse than gloss. And you can bring up the roughness on the white and the roughness like so. The next thing we're going to add is the red. This is a really shiny material, well that's how I made it. You can always ch um, change the red in Photoshop or whatever you use. 0 0.008, I had it before. And um, was that Beckman? Yes it was. Like so, that was the red shader I used. So this uh, let's just add a I don't actually like that red something like that is nice and for the white it's basically the exact same but Using white there, Beckman, and zero point zero zero eight, like so, and that's on the base. Now with the center piece here, I'm just gonna a new one. This is just gonna be white B two, and it's. I think it's just a glossy diffuse mix again. But we've got the factor way up. Like so. And we'll just set that to the white V2. Now pretty happy with the pokeball right there add a plane for a background
Shift D to duplicate and move this onto the second layer. And the first layer we want to just join this all together. Oh no, we don't. We just want to move it. I always like keeping a backup. And on our plane, I'm just going to rotate it. That's bring that up like so, and you can make this floor really glossy, like this material, or you can make it like this material. I'll just give it something like that for now. And for lighting, I'll I just used a environment texture. Which is a cloudy one, the one I use in lots of them. And give us a quick And that is how you create a Pokeball in Blender. Now you can adjust some of the um, sizes of the centerpieces, etc., to suit your likings. Like you can see, this one is a bit smaller there than the other one, and then this one. Like I think that's a bit too big, but I think depending on the angle, you can really adjust it to how you like it. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I shall catch you in my next Blender tutorial. Thank you very much.